Good morning guys, my name is Jason Carr. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some updates on the Ford F-150 shop truck and the 2011 Jeep with a bad transmission. Stay tuned. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got two transmissions sitting here on the floor. We've got the bad transmission that came out of the Jeep, and we've got the new one that's going in. And there's the hole that it's supposed to be in. So a couple of things that we found out while we were in here, working away at taking the transmission out, is the subframe. And on these Jeeps, it is a common issue for the subframes to go bad. And this one is getting very, very close. Although there are no holes in it right now, there's a few sections of it that are very thin. Earlier in the week, we replaced one for another customer. And there's holes here, rust through over here, and several other spots on this Jeep. It wasn't until somebody mentioned to us that on these Jeeps, the Patriots and the Compasses, that there was an extended warranty to help cover those parts. So the warranty is extended on Jeep and uh, on the Jeep Patriot and the Jeep Compass for the front and rear subframe. I called over to Moffat Dodge across the street and they verified that for us. So this Jeep is going to be getting a new front and rear subframe and the one that we did for a customer earlier this week, I'm going to refer them over there as well and with any luck they will be able to get their money back that they paid us to get that one done. This is the front subframe out of their Jeep, the bad one. The back one wasn't too far away either. So having said that, our customer will be happy that he'll be able to get his money back. And we will be lucky enough that we're gonna have a Jeep with two brand new subframes that our customer, whoever we sell this to, won't have to worry about. And as we come over here to the Ford F-150, this is our new shop truck and all of you guys know that if you uh, go back into the first video where I featured this truck and I will put that link right up here maybe it'll come in over here in the uh, cards so that you can go back and follow the story as well it had a lot of peeling paint issues so one of them was on the leading edge of the front fender uh, there was a spot right around the door handle that was blistered wasn't uh, peeled off yet uh, all up and around the uh, the rear fenders on both sides, the gas cap which is common, and of course on the bed rails. You may recall that this had a big matching blue cap that went and sat on the top and uh, these trucks come with the plastic covers, the box covers, and there they are. There they are sitting right there. And what they'll do over time is they'll chafe on the top of the box. Tailgate is no different. The plastic uh, cover that goes over the top of the tailgate was chafing here, causing it to blister a little bit there, as well as around the door handle, or the, uh, as well as around the tailgate handle, and a few small little dents and picks in the tailgate as well. So the tailgate's gonna get painted. This whole side of the truck is going to get painted, is what we've determined. On this side, we're just gonna paint the box, but we are gonna paint from the body line down on this side due to the paint peeling on the bottoms of the doors and again on the leading edge of the front uh, fender over here. Now another thing that we're going to be doing with this truck, and it's not really a modification, it's just kind of an addition of sorts, is we're going to be putting fender flares. Now no, we're not going with the great big three and five inch bushwhacker blah 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 because we're going to keep stock tire sizes on this thing. In the spring we may put in a set of custom wheels and tires to uh, kind of dress it up a little bit. But the fender flares are going to be the factory style fender flares that you'd find on like an FX4 package. So they're going to come up and meet that first body line on the fenders. Which will come up just to cover that right there. And the whole purpose of that is, once again, to help keep the rock chips away from this leading edge and chipping that paint away. So they're going to be all four of them as well as they're paintable. So we're going to paint match them to the truck and just give it a little bit of extra something uh, so that it's not just another you know, F-150. We also will be getting this truck lettered up with our company name on it and likely what we'll do this time as opposed to last time is we will get the company name likely down below on that bottom section below that uh, body line and uh, with probably you know old car auto and across the tailgate we'll likely do the same thing 
And instead of having a 4x4 emblem up here in this area, we likely will put the phone number to the business. So having said that, because this is a dark blue truck, what color decals do you think that we should go with with our company names and logos on this truck? Leave your comments in the description box down below and maybe we can come up with some sort of a prize for the winner. Now on the interior of this truck we still have a long ways to go. We've not touched the interior. This used to be a municipal vehicle for the town of Russell, Ontario. So you can see that down here it's got all the switches for strobe lights and the light bar. The light bar is gone but everything else the switches still remain. So all this wiring has to come out. We've got to get the seat shampooed, the dash, everything is so dirty in this thing that it's going to take some time uh, to get it cleaned up and that'll be a good job for Junior. So we just figured that we would wait until after <coughs> the body work was done. That way all the dust that comes, comes with painting and sanding and all that stuff would be cleaned out with the truck just once instead of having to go back and do it three or four times. So uh, once we get this thing all uh, painted and uh, all the trim put back together, then it'll go into the detail shop with Junior and Junior will have this thing looking like brand new once again. So one last little update that I do want to give you is on the Toyota van. Again, this is my wife's 2006 Toyota Sienna with 624,000 kilometers. It's still in really good shape and yes I have sold it so it isn't going very far and it won't be going out until probably the end of this week and its duties are not going to change it will still be a delivery vehicle for a local company right here in St. Stephen my buddy over here at Cox Electronics and Home Furnishings is going to be taking con taking possession of this vehicle and uh, he'll be doing deliveries of furniture there's a couple of things that I did tell him that we would be doing for him and one of them was the rocker panel is going to get sent up the road and get fixed on Tuesday as well as we're going to see if we can find him some used good quality winter tires to get him through the winter season. So that is the update on the Toyota Sienna, the Ford F-150 as well as the Jeep. Hopefully within the next few days all of these dealings on all these vehicles will be updated to the point where we won't have to give you any more updates. Project Bubbles is sitting fine. I did order some wheel spacers. A uh, fellow that I follow on YouTube, a fellow Canadian home guy, 4x4. He is a huge, huge Jeep guy. And I will put his link in the description box below. And you can follow him on Instagram right here. And he suggested that in order to get the wheels to fit that I did in one of my last videos is to use wheel spacers so I've ordered some inch and a quarter wheel spacers for project bubbles in hopes that that will be enough if not we still may use the wheel spacers to help get them tires out there and widen that thing out and make it look like a true redneck mobile guys I really appreciate you guys tuning into my channel hitting that subscribe button and bell notification so that you get notified each time I upload a new guys stay focused on the windshield not the rear view mirror I love you God bless and don't forget t-shirts Hoodies are on sale until in the description box below. Get yours before they're gone and before time runs out.